far as anybody that doesn't believe the fitting process, you're leaving something on the table. Could be small, could be big, but um, we continue to want more and more people taking advantage of it. In the home stretch of the Hot List Summit, the fitters gear up for their most grueling task of all, fitting the testers for irons. If someone walks in our doors for an iron fitting, we like to say it's an irons fitting. We're gonna fit you for every single iron in the bag from top to bottom. It's actually not all over the place. You see how far back in the heel it is. All right, that is a very, very big loss of ball speed. That's also adding the inconsistency aspect of things. You wanna think about each iron individually. Uh, it has a job to do. We have a lot more technology at our fingertips. The golf ball is telling you a story. I think you benefit from something that's still in the stiff range, but just like a little softer, a little lighter, you know, yeah. in the long runs. It's crazy how you can feel it. Ball speed 114, spin rate, you're spinning it you know, around 6,000. With a seven iron, you want to see around 5,500 to 6,000 RPMs of spin. Dialing in your irons is important, but it only goes so far if you can't get the ball in the hole. Enter the putter, the most valuable club in your bag but often the most overlooked when it comes to fitting. It's a cliche that it's the club you use most in the bag, but that happens to be true. So why wouldn't you want to get fit for the club that you're going to take the most strokes with? Why most amateurs don't get fit for the putter? Man, if I could answer that question, I'd, I'd be one of the smartest guys in golf. When you're talking about average golfers, probably around 80 to 85% are still not fit for their putter. So this is more of a a rounded shape yeah. as opposed to your two ball 10 is a little more of a must call a hybrid shape, you know, it's mm -hmm. kind of squared off. A lot of people don't really understand why putters are shaped the way they are, why they have lines and why the, you know, the lines are placed in very specific positions for a reason and they all influence against people's aim biases and their perceptions. I've always said it's the most important part of the game because it directly influences the strokes. What you feeling? Dude, I'm, I'm, I love you, Pat. <laughs> I love you, man. Hopefully, everyone that sees this, go into a golf galaxy, go on the putting green, say, I got a ton of questions about my putting game I want the answers to, and get one of our trusted advisors up there to help you out. Trusted advisor. Easy to say, yet difficult to achieve. But that's exactly what Chris, Pat, and Alex have become for these testers in just one short, albeit grueling week. They're fantastic people helping guiding you through the experience. So walking away, making a couple new friends, learning a whole lot more about the game of golf and about my own game that I can take home with me and you know, memories I'll have for a lifetime. For the fitters, the feeling is mutual. I give a lot of props to the players that are swinging. Gonna give an opportunity to get that ball more into the air. My goal is helping them understand what this club's doing for them so they can give their best opinion. A lot of players look at this and they base what the clubs are gonna buy. It's very important that these folks here hit their best shots and then give the best opinion. Unbelievable week, been a long grind, but just excited. <laughs> Hearing the excitement in the players, they should be tired right now, they're not. <laughs> I think the marriage and partnership that Golf Digest has with Golf Galaxy and Dick's Sporting Goods is just incredible.